quantum touch has been such a beautiful and useful technique for me to learn both as a mom and in my career. So firstly, as a mother, my son is gifted. A couple of years ago, we went through a very rough patch uh, that was during the lockdown period when it got really bad. Because he is gifted, it means that um, he can have some challenges with regulating his emotions and there are also some sensory sensitivities. So at times it can result in what we could describe as a bit of a meltdown. And we went through this really difficult period, which left me feeling quite helpless as a mom and I didn't know what to do to help him. And so I wanted to learn a technique that I could use that was very practical and grounded and real and actually showed results. And that's exactly what QT has been. So if he's feeling upset, I do just a couple of minutes of QT on him and the results are instantaneous. Within a couple of minutes, he's calmed down, his nervous system has relaxed and very often he'll just fall asleep. <laughs> and he often asks me to do QT on him. So it's something that he asks for himself if he's feeling a bit frazzled or upset about something. And it's sort of become our bedtime routine as well. Uh, when I put him to sleep, he either asks me to do QT or meditation with him. A few weeks ago, I had a really beautiful reminder of just how effective this technique is, not only when he's with me, but even at a distance. I got a message from the teacher that he was having a really bad day at school and he'd had a, a pretty bad meltdown and was lashing out at the other kids and at her. And in that moment, I felt helpless and I didn't know what to do. And I thought, oh, should I go to school and fetch him? And then I remembered QT. So I spent a few minutes running energy for him. And just as I finished, I got another message from the teacher to say that he had completely calmed down and he was absolutely fine. So it was a really beautiful reminder of just how real and immediate, practical and grounded these effects are. It's not just some wishy-washy woo-woo thing. <laughs> And then in my work, because I am a body worker, I teach yoga and Pilates, and because I'm working with people's bodies, and I'm very often hands-on with my clients, I noticed that I would tend to take things on from my clients because I am empathic as well. Sometimes I would start feeling the pains that they were experiencing in my own body, which is, of course, not sustainable <laughs> if you're working with people the whole day. And so I wanted to learn how to better manage my own energy and QT has really helped me with that. It's given me a greater understanding of how I can still be hands-on and still be empathic with my clients and still fully engage with them without taking their stuff on. And then of course, I've also started working with clients using QT to do sessions with them. And I've had some incredible results with that. One of the my favorite stories that really stands out in my mind is a client who came to me because she had been in chronic pain for 18 years from a car accident, um, which had given her a whiplash. So she had pains in her neck and her shoulders, often got migraines, and it was quite debilitating pain. It really affected her life. She wasn't able to do much work and she felt like it was affecting her ability to be a good mom to her, I think, eight or nine year old son. And she started coming for regular sessions with me and the results were really incredible. And what I love about the story is that she came to me for the, that specifically. Um, but what stands out to me most about her results is that, yes, she got a lot of relief from her pain. But emotionally, something beautiful blossomed within her where she started remembering this desire that she had as a child to be an artist. And unfortunately, in her family, that wasn't an acceptable career and so she suppressed that desire and she never pursued it and she said that she hadn't drawn or painted in years since she was in school and all of a sudden she started doing that again and fast forward I think it's about a year later now she is a full-time professional artist that's what she does I follow her on Instagram because I love her art and I love watching her story she paints all day every day and she's selling her paintings and it's really incredible to see how this modality facilitated that for her this entire change in her life where she has this creative spark and passion and energy for life again compared to when she was living with that chronic pain the whole time. And another incredible story is with the same client. I was working on her head and her neck the one day for the pain and so it wasn't my intention for anything specific to be happening in her jaw but Later on that day when she went home and in the coming days, she said that she started feeling her jaw and her teeth shifting. 
and she had always had an overbite and it was quite noticeable and all of a sudden it wasn't quite as bad as it used to be and she said that she could actually physically see her jaw changing and moving and now she has the most beautiful smile and she feels so much more confident to smile. <laughs> And then on a personal level, I obviously use the QT techniques on myself all the time. In the past, I've had a very bad experience with chronic fatigue syndrome. And although I'm recovered from that now, sometimes I can still feel it coming up. Um, you know, I feel that fatigue, brain fog, and my nervous system just doesn't feel happy. And when that happens, I use the QT techniques. And I find that to be very effective in lifting my energy and clearing my mind. And I love to use QT first thing in the morning upon waking. It's just such a great way to set up your energy for the day in that really high, vibrant space. So if you're thinking about learning quantum touch, I would highly recommend it, whether it's just for you personally to use on yourself and your family, or you want to pursue it as a career. Karina is a wonderful teacher. She really breaks it down in a way that makes it very easy to understand what it is that you're doing and how the techniques work.